Hi, welcome to Learning Monkey. I am Raghu here. In this class, we will discuss about how to calculate the median value given frequency distribution. In our last class, we clearly discussed about when to use the median and how to calculate the median value. Please watch those classes and come back here. The link for the playlist is provided in the description below. Coming to today's class. So given this, we take an example and understand how we calculate the median value for the given frequency distribution. Here we are having two types, discrete values and continuous values. We are going to understand both the examples. The first example is given discrete data. Number of hours, assume that the students are studying every day, they are going to study one hour. Eight members are going to study every day, one hour. Two hours, 10 members are going to study. This is what the data says. Uh, three hours, 11 members, four hours, 16 members, five hours, 20 members, six hours, 25, mem uh, 25 members, seven, 15, eight, nine, nine, six. Uh, this is how the data is given. We need to identify the median of this value, median value for this distribution. So here we have given the frequency values. So how we calculate the median in our last class, we discussed that median means arrange the numbers, arrange the data in the ascending order and pick the middle one. That is how we calculate the median value. The same thing we do here, arrange the numbers in the ascending order. These are already in ascending order. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So one, one hour, how many students are studying one hour every day? Eight students, one, 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 one. Two, 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 two. How many students are studying two, two hours every day? 10 students, two, 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 so on. You have to write total. How many students are there? 120 students are there. Is it possible to write all 120 students data uh, continuously and pick the middle one? No, that's why we will go with the cumulative frequency method. How we calculate the middle value? See, X number of hours and the data is like this, one to nine. Frequency 8, 10, 11, 16, these are the values. You need to find the cumulative frequency for this data. Cumulative frequency means 8. 8 means 8 hours. 8 plus 10, 18 hours. 18 plus 11, 29 hours. 29, uh, 29 plus 16, 45. 45 plus 20, 65. It's not hours. So number of students, number of students. 45 plus 20, 65. 65 plus 25, 90, 90 plus 15, 105, 105 plus 9, 114, 114 plus 6, 120. Total, how many students are there? 120 students are there. This is how we calculated the cumulative frequency. So, n is equal to 120. Median is equal to n by 2. That is equal to 120 by 2. That is equal to 60. So, 60, where, where the 60 comes? 45 plus 20, 65 means 60 comes to this median class what's this median class what's the value of this median class 5 means median value is 5 this is how we calculate uh, you have to identify the median class how we are going to calculate uh, we are going to calculate the cumulative frequency what's the total value we got 120 120 divided by 2 that is equal to 120 by 2 is equal to 60 60 comes to which median class it comes to the five so number of hours median value of number of hours that are studying is five hours on an average they are going to study each uh, five hours a day that is how we calculate the median value now you'll get some doubts here if you are having even number of numbers how you calculate if odd number if it is odd number we will calculate like this n by 2 that is equal to 120 by 2 that is equal to 60 if even numbers n by 2 what's the, which class it comes to fifth class 5 hours plus n by 2 plus 1 means 61 61 also comes to this class same class so 5 plus 5 by 2 that is 5 will get the same value this is how we calculate if the odd value is there even value is there if it is odd n by 2 is the answer n by 2 comes to which class that is what you have to identify not 60 60 is not our answer 60 belongs to which class 5 hours which median class that is how you have to, what you have to identify this is how if you calculate uh, we calculate the median value for the discrete values if it is continuous values 
so there is a lot of difference between discrete and continuous values so let's try to understand how to calculate the median value for the continuous continuous values are given suppose if you take the wages wages of the employees 2000 to 3000 there are three members are there 3000 to 4000 five members are there 4000 to 5000 20 members are there 5000 to 6000 10 members are there 6000 to 7000 five members are there this is the, what we call it as continuous data if continuous data has been provided what you need to identify see uh, the same way will follow but uh, we have to follow this equation what's this equation why we are following this equation we will understand uh, 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 we will understand by taking a small example this is very big example first calculate this uh, let's try to understand this equation then we are going to elaborate this equation part, uh, each part uh, why we have used this equation so 2000 to 3000 how many members are there three members are there identify the cumulative frequency cumulative frequency 3 plus 5 8 uh, means a total 8 members 8 plus 20 28 28 plus 10 38 38 plus 5 43 total how many employees are there 43 employees are there 43 by 2 that is equal to 21.3 21.3 belongs to which median class this median class this median class now the point is you have to understand which value we have to assign as median value here we are having 4000 to 5000 there are lot of values between 4000 and 5000 which value we have to assign if you assign 4000 as the median value left side we are having less number of values we are giving more chance to right hand side more number of values comes to right hand side if you give 5000 as the median value more number of values are going to left hand side because 4000 to 5000 how many members are there 20 members are there if you take 5000 this 20 going to left side if you give 4000 uh, this 20 comes to right side so you have to choose a best median value so that uh, it is uh, on and around uh, uh, it is going to divide into two halves so most of them uh, half of them uh, it's uh, it's not exactly almost all half of them comes to left side ha uh, half of them comes to right side that is how you have to choose we will choose that using this equation l plus h by f into n by c minus c n by 2 minus c what is l l means lower limit of median class we have identified the median class what's the lower limit of median class 4000 plus l plus 4000 plus h means length of the median class length means what's the value we are having 4000 to 5000 how many values we have 1000 that is what length of the median class 1000 divided by frequency of the median class means what's the frequency value in this thousand values 4000 to 5000 how many of them are there how many employees are there in this class 20 so thousand by thousand by 20 thousand by 20 into n by 2 means whatever we are calculating what's the n value 43 is our n value n by 2 means 21.3 21.3 minus 8 c minus c n by 2 minus c the c means n means sigma f5 means this total frequency c means cumulative frequency of class preceding median class this is what our median class cumulative frequency of the class preceding the median class means this one so this is our median class preceding median class is this class what's the cumulative frequency of this 8 21.3 minus 8 if you calculate this equation we are getting 4675 see we are not getting 4000 we are not getting 5000 we got a value between 4000 and 5000 how why we are choosing this value let's try to understand with an example this elaborate this uh, equation with small example see the same we are taking 2k to 2k to 3k two members are there 3k to 4k two members are there 4k to 5k five members are there 5k to 6k two members are there 6k to 7k three members are there identify the cumulative frequency 2 4 
टू प्लस टू फोर फोर प्लस फाइव नाइन नाइन प्लस टू लेवन लेवन प्लस थ्री फोर्टीन सो टोटल नंबर ऑफ एम्प्लॉज आर फोर्टीन एम्प्लॉयज सी लेट्स टेक ए सैंपल एग्जाम्पल डेटा सो दैट वील अंडरस्टैंड बेटर सो टू मेंबर्स आर देर टू पॉइंट वन टू पॉइंट एट we have given some random values it is not mandatory to have the values like this in 2k 2 to 3k how many how many members are there two members are there we have given 2.1 2.8 same way 3k to 4k two members are there 3.1 3.9 4k to 5k five members are there we have randomly selected some values 4.1 4.2 4.6 4.8 4.9 these are the wages these are the wages of these employees these employees and the remaining values are so chosen like this see here if you calculate the value 14 divided by 2 n by 2 our equation is this n by 2 means we are going to identify the median class which class it belongs to n by 2 means 7 7 belongs to this class because 4 plus 5 9 means 7 is in this class in this class 4k to 5k if you assign 4k as the median value see left side only four members are there right side we are giving more chance central we are missing the central tendency if you give 5k as the median value left side we are getting more number of values and right side we are getting less number of values we are we are missing the central tendency that's why we have to choose a value between this how we are going to choose L plus lower bound plus L means lower bound It means four thousand plus H by F H by F What is this H by F? Four K to five K What's the value? How many values are there? Thousand values are there. That is what H value means. Thousand divided by five. How many How many employees belong to this class? Five employees. So thousand by five. That is equal to two hundred. Means each employee is given two hundred value. Okay, thousand by two five is equal to two hundred four hundred four thousand plus two hundred into n by two minus c. What's that mean? If you give the numbers like this, this is the first data point, second data point, third data point, fourth data point. For understanding purpose, we have given the numbers. Really, we don't have numbers. This this is seventh data point like that. We are having five employees. We are writing them in ascending order. That's it. We are for understanding purpose. We have provided the numbers also. So our n by two value is seven. See seven minus previous cumulative value. See seven minus c. C value is seven minus four. Previous median class. Median class. Previous class cumulative value is four. Seven minus four. What's the value you got? Three. Means from this class, three employees should come. to left side two employees should come right side this is how you have to give the median value that's why we have taken n by 2 minus c why we n by 2 is 7 why we are minus uh, we are doing subtraction of previous class cumulative value from the seventh data point previous class cumulative value if you minus that you will get number of employees belongs to left side Three employees. If you want to get the three employees, so that's why each employee is getting two hundred value. If you two hundred multiplied by three, what's the value you will get? Six hundred. That's why four thousand plus two hundred multiplied by three, six hundred. Four thousand six hundred. We got around this value six hundred four point six. So most of the half of them comes this side, half of comes this. To this side, this is how we will assign. This is what this equation says. In our previous example, let's try for better understanding. In our previous example, what's it? N by two, twenty-one point three means it's around twenty-two. Twenty-one point three minus eight. Why we have subtracted this? Twenty-one point three minus eight means so on the left hand side you should get twenty-two minus eight means. 14 members should come left side out of this 20 members 14 members should come left side and remaining 6 members should come right side if you want to assign a median value like that that's why this 21.3 minus 8 will get some value that is multiplied by 1000 by 20 total how many values are there 1000 frequency is 20 each one is getting 50 value 50 
1000 by 20 means 50. So multiplied by 50, we got this 4675. So most of them will come left side from this class. From this class, our assumption is 14 members has to come left side. If you want to get like that, you have to use this 4675. This is how we calculate. This is what this equation says. So this is how we calculate the median value if continuous frequency is given and discrete frequency values are given. Discrete values with frequency is given. Continuous values with frequency is given. Hope you understand the concept. If you have any questions regarding the concept, please post your questions in the comment section below. Thanks for watching. If you haven't subscribed to our channel, please subscribe to our channel and press bell icon for the latest updates. Thank you.